True progress in medicine has always, without exception, been violently resisted by medical authorities who cling to the beliefs of their time. In 1840, Ignaz Semmelweis, an Austrian obstetrician, noted that over 20%, that's one out of five, women giving birth in the hospital died four to six days later of peripheral fever. These women were then autopsied in the basement of the hospital. And the doctors who performed these autopsies wore no gloves. Can you imagine that? Believe it or not, they then would leave the autopsy room and go straight to the delivery room to assist other births without even washing their hands. Then Dr. Samovice's good friend and fellow physician accidentally cut his finger while he was doing an autopsy. In six days, this doctor died with the same signs and symptoms of peripheral fever. All of a sudden, Samuel Weiss knew. He realized that the doctors were transferring the disease from the autopsy room to the delivery room, and he urged his colleagues to simply wash their hands. For this unforgivable sacrilege, he was drummed out of the medical profession, and he died in an insane asylum. Now today, we have the same kind of arrogant commitment to belief. But with cancer treatment, we have a trillion dollar business built on those beliefs. So if you think Samovite had a problem, just imagine the problem Dr. Brzezinski faces. There was no money involved in hand washing versus non-hand washing.